Yo guys, so in this video we're going to create a basic crafting system. Now I have a crafting table right here and then I also have wooden planks. I know I should have honestly been a builder. These uh, are pretty incredible and they're not for sale. I'm keeping them. Alright, so I'm going to put this wood plank inside of replicated storage. And we're just going to craft another crafting station, to be honest. Um, so let's go ahead and go to server script service. I actually have a remote event here, by the way, as well. Forgot to mention that. And if for that, we're actually going to create a screen GUI and a text button real quick. I'm not going to make it fancy. This isn't going to be a, a uh, GUI tutorial. Let's... Um, Create a script and service script service. First, we're going to get replicated storage. And get service replicated. Then we're going to get our crafting station. We'll just call it crafting box equals um, workspace wafer child crafting station. Now we're going to get our Crafting station. This is what we're going to clone, and it's in replicated storage. Now we're going to get our event as well. And we're going to make a function to spawn the wooden planks. Actually, we need to get our wooden planks. Not wood planks. And we're going to say for i equals five do, and we're going to say local clone equals wood plank clone we're gonna say clone dot parent equals workspace we're gonna say local prompt equals instance dot new proximity prompt prompt dot parent equals clone prompt dot triggered now um, we're going to do connect function player and we're going to do player dot planks dot value a plus equals one and then clone destroy we're going to go and make a game dot players dot player added now connect function player and then what we're going to do is local um planks equals instance dot new int we're gonna do an, we're gonna make an int value parent it to the player and we're now gonna say uh planks dot name equals planks and we're gonna say planks dot value equals zero ow All right, and now we're going to um, get our crafting box, um, and we're going to say crafting. Actually, we don't need to get our crafting box because we're going to be crafting using the GUI, not crafting using the crafting station. Um, yeah, that's a different uh, video. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to do local uh, script. And we're going to get the player's mouse, local mouse equal game dot players dot, actually we don't need that, we need the player's GUI. So local player GUI equals game dot players dot local player dot player GUI. We're going to say local button equals player GUI, wait for child, screen GUI dot text button button dot mouse button one up 
connect function. Um, then we need our event as well. Local uh, crafting event equals um, game get service replicated. Wait for child crafting events. Crafting events fire server. And then we're going to make a false name crafting button name. Um, we're going to say local crafting button name equals um, crafting station crafting name equals crafting station. And then over here we can say crafting event dot on server event connect function we're going to say player item name then we're going to say if item name equals crafting station then then we're going to say if player dot planks dot value is greater than two is actually greater than one or is equal to two how about that then um crafting station clone local clone equals Clone dot parent equals workspace. Okay, boom, and that should be it. So, guys, imagine that this is your button dot name. I just simulated though, so we didn't have to change it inside of Player GUI. Um, so, what we're doing is first off, we are we are we are creating this um wood plank and we're doing it five times basically and um, we're parenting it to workspace and we're giving it a prompt and we're saying on the prompt increase our planks value by one and destroy the plank and then we instance our int value to our and we parent it to the player um, so this is what we're using to manipulate how many planks we have um, and then when we click our craft button on the GUI side, we are saying if its name is this, then if planks has two, then we're going to clone it. And then we can also say um, player dot planks dot value minus equal two. OK, so what we can do now is we can print these prints player.planks.value planks. Let's copy this print statement. Put it up here. Okay. So now let's test this and see if it works. Okay, so we got our planks. Boom. Boom. Now let's try to craft. Boom. So we did just craft this and now we actually have zero planks. So watch this. Now let's see back to one, two, three, and we can craft again. But it didn't craft. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder why it didn't craft. Let's do starter character scripts. I don't know. For some reason, sometimes uh, I put it in starter character and it ends up working like it's supposed to. Oh, if it equals two. <laughs> I'm so dumb for that. Let's put it back in local player. Uh, it's This is why. It's because I did player.planks.value equals two. Um, I don't know why I would put in starter character. 
it's just that sometimes um, you have to put certain things in the starter character. Um, I don't believe this to be one of them. And we didn't even kill our character first. So yeah. So let's actually try to do that. Um, let's do reset character. So now we're resetting the character. Now let's see if the script still works. Um, and then if it doesn't, then we would want to put it in starter character. So boom, we have two. And we can't interact with the button anymore. Okay. So now let's put it in starter character. Should have had greater or equal to two, not just equal to two. So I'll change that. Boom. Boom. Let's uh, restart character. Boom, boom, we have two planks, boom. So yeah, we would want to keep that in starter character scripts, um, the mouse script. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. So that's really how you can make like a super basic crafting system. We would just make this is greater than or equal to two. Um, so it's going to do it even if we have three or four, instead of like only when we have two. Um, So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth tutorial, uh, more advanced version, then just let me know. I'll go ahead and make that. That'd be a pretty long video though. See you guys in the next one. Peace.